Hi, scientists. Miss Bobby here. Remember we were talking about the water cycle? You know, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, runoff? Well, I'm going to do a little demonstration today and show you how important it is that we keep our waterways, our streams, and creeks clean. And also, what does this mean to infiltration? So let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to use this egg carton. It's made out of paper. That's going to represent our waterways. Over here are the ingredients for the rest of the demonstration. I have water. I have cornmeal. I could have used sand. That would have probably been better, but the yellow shows. And then I have food coloring, and you're going to understand what that means in just a second. I'm going to start pouring the water into the egg carton. And you notice that I have to kind of pour a lot of it before it starts spilling. And it's starting to spill over. And what do you also notice? Is it staying in those little pools? like little tiny lakes. Hmm, doesn't look like it. Look there, it's spilling out. So if this is the groundwater aquifer, we already know that some of the water that's in our little lakes is going into the groundwater aquifer. Now let's pretend that this cornmeal I'm putting in this little lake is a bunch of trash. What happens then when water comes down? <gasps> what happens? It's spilling. It's connecting. The trash is moving from where it was landed all the way downstream and into the groundwater aquifer. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. What does this mean then? What do we do about our creeks and streams and rivers? This means we should keep them clean, right? Because you can see all of this trash is going to be moving down and getting into, eventually, getting into the groundwater aquifer and then all the way out to the ocean. Now, let's see what happens if there's some sort of contamination in the water. We'll add a couple of drops of poisonous material into our groundwater waterways and add a little bit more. Oh my gosh, we're adding a little bit more precipitation and what's gonna happen? It looks like it's spreading. We didn't even put the contamination directly into our, uh, anything but one little spot. And look how it can spread to all the other parts of our waterways. Now, take a look, scientists. What do you see? You can see that the contamination that only was a little bit in this spot has spread <clears throat> through all of those parts of the waterway, and you can tell that it has gone into the groundwater aquifer because it leaked out of the soil that was containing it. So this is another reason why we have to be very careful about not putting trash or any kind of contamination 
in the rivers and streams around our house.